because I just know her so much as Kim. Know her like I know her personally. I don't know Kim Kardashian personally, clearly. <laughs> Hello all my exciting Keefs, my name is Patrick and welcome to Fun With First Names where each week we look into the meaning, origin and some extra fun facts behind one specific first name. And this week we are looking into the first name of Kimberly. But before we begin I just want to remind you that we are still trying to hit that goal of $1,000 a month on Patreon by the end of June and we are really getting there guys, we're about $910 at the moment so less than $100 needed now. If there's 90 of you who enjoy naming explaining enough to donate just $1 a month then we will be there in no time, and I really know there is. And donating one dollar month Patreon gets you more than just a good feeling inside for supporting me. You get to enjoy ad-free videos. You get to enjoy extra content like a, a blog post and a podcast. Blog post, blog post. It's really hard to say that. If you've been watching this, I think that's hard enough for me to say. But you get that extra content as well, and you get a chance to say what names get explained. You get to vote in a poll for the side that these videos are. The uh, Wednesday videos. You get to suggest places to get covered in the Wednesday videos. So much for you, just for one dollar a month. Seriously. Go check it out down below and we will be there in no time. And when I hit $1,000 a month, I'm going to make a big video explaining how all the states of the USA got their name and their nickname. It's a heavily requested video, so I'm really excited to make that one. Not only that, but if we hit it before June, I'm going to shave all this off because it, it, it appears that humiliating myself is a really good incentive for you guys. And it was these guys who were kind enough to donate on Patreon in the most recent weeks. So I want to say a huge thank you to Oliver Gittins, Rob, Jack Schofield, William Reeves, Charles Copley and James. Thank you guys all so much for donating on Patreon. You are making the channel exist in the best way. You're just making the channel exist really in the way it is. And you're helping in the best way possible. Thank you all so much. Apologies if I mispronounce your name. Anyway, on with today's name of Kimberly. And what I need to first talk about this name is that there are two popular spelling variations of it. There's Kimberly and Kimberly. Like, that didn't help at all me saying that, but the second one has two E's, while the first one just has one E. Hopefully Amber's put them up here to explain. Um, The second one of those is American. It's actually the more popular version of the name. Most popular, famous Kimberleys only have the one E because they're American. However, it's that two E spelling we're going to be focusing on today because that's the British version, and I'm British. And also, it's the original way of spelling. Unfortunately, this isn't like a chicken or egg scenario. Kimberly with two E's definitely came first. So I'm going to be using it here. I imagine the American spelled it with one E because American English is all about making a uh, language simpler and getting rid of all the silly words we add to uh, language here in Britain. So that makes all the sense in the world. Nothing against the one E spelling. I'm just going to be sticking with the two E spelling for this video. And this name of Kimberly comes from some seriously long winded origins like sit, I hit the wall. I was gonna fall down, doesn't it? Anyway, this name of Kimberly comes from a seriously long-winded origin, so sit down, guys. Hope you're ready for this one, because it's gonna be a while, maybe. I don't know how long the video is gonna be. Kimberly rose to prominence as a popular first name thanks to a town in South Africa that also had this name of Kimberly. This town was a mining town for diamonds in South Africa, so I presume it had a lot of prestige around it. People like diamonds and precious things. People like naming their children after diamonds and precious things. So I imagine that's how it became a first name because Kimberly was associated with wealth and diamonds and people wanted their kids associated with wealth and diamonds. We literally just talked about the whole gemstone first name thing with Jasper in the previous video. So go check that one out if you haven't already. It's a fun one. But how did this town in South Africa end up with the name of Kimberly? Well, it was named after someone called John Woodhouse. Yeah, John Woodhouse, N not, not quite called Kimberly. John Woodhouse was a British politician in the past and he was a very respected man. So respected in the fact that he earned himself one of those fancy British titles that everyone just goes nuts over. Not only was he gifted a title, a whole new title was created for him. He was given the title of Earl of Kimberley. After receiving this title in 1870, he was given a new position in government, that being Secretary of State for the Colonies. South Africa was of course one of the colonies at this time, as around this time that huge amounts of diamonds were being discovered in the nation. So in celebration of this newfound prosperity under his regime, one of these diamond mining towns was named after him, well named after his title, Kimberley. However, these Earl and Duke titles always point to somewhere specifically, e.g. the Duke of Cornwall, Cornwall is a county in England, and likewise the Duke of Cambridge. Cambridge which is a city in England. So if you're the Duke of Kimberley, that means Kimberley had to be a place in the first place. So where on earth is Kimberley? I've never heard of it anyway. Well, Kimberley isn't a large county or a big city here in the UK. In fact, the name Kimberley is, is for somewhere much, much smaller. Kimberley is a small village in Norfolk in the east of England of about 150 residents. Woodhouse became the Earl of the village of Kimberley because his family already owned land there, though personally I like to think it was because all the good places were already taken. Though now we need to ask ourselves why was this small village called Kimberley? Like I said this just goes deeper and deeper and is very long-winded. 
Well, the popular idea is that this name of Kimberley for the town and village means Sinberg's clearing, with Sinberg being an old English name. And as for where Sinberg itself came from, we don't know, so this trail ends here. So this means that the popular first name of Kimberley comes from the town in South Africa called Kimberley. And this town in South Africa was named Kimberley after John Woodhouse, the Earl of Kimberley. And he was named the Earl of Kimberley after this small town in the east of England, also called Kimberley. And this town in Kimberley was named after some old English person called Simberg and their clearing. Whew. Like I said, it's a really long-winded roundabout origin. Kimberley, however, has remained fairly popular, especially over in the US, it is the 194th most popular name last year. Um, this name has been popular for quite some time, it was really popular in the latter half of the 20th century. It's had to dip a little bit today, but still pretty popular. Here in the UK, despite this being its ultimate origin, it isn't anywhere near as popular. It's the 1398th most popular girl's name. So yeah, definitely not as popular here, as it is there, despite it coming from here in the first place. Famous Kimberleys, or Kims I would say, include Kim Kardashian, super, super famous person. It never really clicked that her name was Kimberly, because I just know her so much as Kim. Know her like I know her personally. I don't know Kim Kardashian personally, clearly. Um, yeah, it never really occurred to me that she's actually called Kimberly. Um, what, what, what is Kim Kardashian? Just a general famous person, I suppose. There's also Kimberly Walsh here in the UK, a British singer, I think for Girls Aloud, The Sugar Babes one of them can't remember which one exactly the one with Cheryl Cole whichever one that was and there's also of course Kim Wexler from uh, Better Call Saul one of the best tv shows and one of the best characters in that tv show if you watch Breaking Bad and haven't watched Better Call Saul go watch it it may be better I'm tempted to say it might even be better and for video game Kimberly, there's Kimberly Swift, who isn't actually a video game character, but a video game developer. She's worked with Valve in the past, she's designed games like Left 4 Dead and Portal, and I even saw her consider one of the most popular women in the gaming industry, so that's really cool to see. There she is. But anyway, that's just about everything you guys need about the name Kimberly, but what are your thoughts on this name? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you know anyone with the name Kimberly? Are you Kimberly yourself? Let me know down in the comments below. And of course, I just want to share some of the thoughts you guys have on last week's name of Jasper. Paul V. Kallerman said, My brother's name is Jesper, a Danish variant, I guess. Yes, Jesper is a Danish variant. And I was so, so close to mentioning Jesper. I thought, eh, people don't really know the name Jesper as much as they know Casper. So I'll just mention Casper. No, Jesper is another variation of Jasper. And the reason I wanted to mention it is because the main character in Klaus one of the best Christmas films, definitely the best Christmas film in modern times. The main character is called Jesper in that, so it's close to mentioning it, but I didn't, but go watch Klaus. Not right now, wait for Christmas, or watch it now. Break the rules, why not? Mike Tilly said, many countries and cities in America are named Jasper, named after revolutionary war hero, William Jasper. Thank you so much for sharing that. Um, I was aware that there were some places named after Jasper, not named after Jasper, that had the name Jasper. I didn't know why that was the case. Thanks for sharing that. Maybe I should have mentioned it in the previous video. And Fiona DeVissa over on the Patreon, and please, if you guys have thoughts on these videos and are a patron, go tell me about it there. I want to try and start highlighting comments from the Patreon as well as from the YouTube comments, because it's only fair. Uh, anyway, Fiona DeVissa said, Garnet is a boy's name, I think. So Garnet is another gemstone. This is quite right. Garnet has become a boy's name unto itself as well. Thank you so much for highlighting that. Highlighting that. I think I was like, Jasper's the only gemstone become a popular boy's name. There's Garnet as well. My bad. Thank you for highlighting that, Fiona. Next week, we'll be looking to a name starting with the letter L. And what name that will be exactly will be chosen on a poll exclusively for my patrons to vote on. So if you enjoy the channel, or want to help support it, and have a say in what names we'll explain, then please, please, please do consider donating on Patreon. As I said, just $1 a month allows you to have a say in what names we'll explain. Gets you these videos completely ad-free and gets you exclusive uh, content. I've said this so much now. You guys know the drill. There'll be a link down below. It's so worth it. $1, I, I like to think it's worth it anyway. Fingers crossed you guys do too. Link down below, let's hit $1,000. I'll do a big video about how the state's got their name and I'll shave this off and I'll look like a big potato. But anyway, that's enough from myself for now, guys. Don't forget to go follow me on Instagram where I'm Name Explain YT. And don't forget to go join the Facebook group, Friends of Name Explain, both of which will be linked down below. Anyway, guys, take care.